see everybody, and I think uh, that's what makes this special for me is the ability to come in a room and see a bunch of friends, really, people that I played Little League Baseball with and people that I've known for years and years. So this is a special situation for me because of that. And um, we like our team. We do. And uh, you wouldn't know that by watching practice, Vince, would you? He's, Vince said, boy, you were pretty hard on those guys. But that's kind of my mantra. Like, and they all know it. So they don't always like it, but they know it. And we, uh, we, we kind of have a Jekyll and Hyde relationship, you know, and me personally, I have a, I'm kind of a tough guy on the court, but off the court, I'm kind of a, a mellow lamb, kind of. You know, they. I <laughs> <laughs> a terrible analogy, man. You could have something else. <laughs> <laughs> so, it takes a little bit of time to get used to me, but once they get used to me, uh, they kind of like it, I think. So, we're trying to make pros and guys that graduate from college and, and, uh, hold guys accountable and make them hold themselves accountable. And most of the guys that are in our program get better and better. And uh, we feel like we have three pros sitting up here, guys that are going to play professional basketball, good people, guys that care about winning. And <clears throat> we've pretty much built the program on just that winning, that winning mentality. And it's interesting because I think that winning mentality is, is a little bit hard to harvest if you don't have it. Uh, winning teams figure out ways to win, and losing teams figure out ways to lose. And it's, it's really, really hard to change that culture. And um, what we're trying to do now is we're trying to figure out how to beat the big boys on a consistent basis. And that's not easy either. Um, there's a reason they have all that money in their programs, right? They, they want to win. So we have a schedule this year that is uh, it's daunting, to say the least. Uh, we play a lot of good people. If you look at the mid-major poll, number one, Creighton. You've got Middle Tennessee, who's very, very good. You've got Princeton. You've got Cleveland State and Detroit. All those teams are really, really good mid-majors. But then you throw on top of that the chances to play Oklahoma State, Tennessee, North Carolina State, Providence, Penn State. So it's not going to be easy by any means, but we, we feel like we have the team to play with those people. We do. We, we're big, we're strong, we're athletic. We're just trying to get better at the little things, really. I think that's, uh, <clears throat> we feel like we can run and jump and shoot, and, but we got to get better at the little things, the intangibles, the loose balls, the playing your role, uh, the taking the charge, uh, knowing who can do what, all the little things, the toughness plays. And so that's kind of what our emphasis has been on. Now, we've always been a team that has emphasized those things. Our teams really don't change much from year to year. They just change numbers, really. So uh, that's really what we've tried to do. And uh, we feel good about our guys. We know it's going to be hard, especially those first eight or nine games. Those are going to be really, really hard games. So we're looking forward to the challenge, really. Well, I think a lot of times people have been a little critical of our schedule, but we've kind of had a plan all along as to what we did with our schedule. And in order to get good players, you have to win. And so we, we made sure we won. And we had good teams. Now we're trying to get at large, get in at large position. And so uh, we feel like we've had a good plan with that. We feel like if we win enough games against those teams, we'll be in at large position. Well, my goals in general are just uh, overall get better. <laughs> um, I just want to improve every part of my game that I can, uh, shooting-wise, rebounding-wise, any tangibles, as Coach said, uh, running, doing the loose balls, uh, blocking shots, being in the right position, just making myself an overall better player, which I think I've done over the years. I'm trying to get better and better. So I want to make a bigger jump than what I have, I have been, but um, ultimately, I want to just get in a better position so I can be you know, ready to go to the next level. First of all, I think it's going to be a great opportunity, obviously, for me. But in the, at the same time, it could be a double-edged knife because I have a lot of pressure from just because that I'm playing home. And just it's just natural for everybody to want to do more and stuff like that. So I just got to keep myself in, in, in my game, in my coach's game, co game plan, and make sure I execute for my team just to make sure that everybody plays well and that our team runs how it should. I think as a whole, I think we're a really good team. Uh, we got really good depth. 
uh, especially in the front court with the addition of Pat Forsett. Um, myself, you know, I'm just we're just trying to win as many games as possible. We got a great schedule. The coaches got some really good teams on the schedule. And like you said, we're trying to you know think bigger and we're trying to take down the big dogs this year. Not just one, but um, as many as we can get. Um, personally, I mean, just win and everything will take care of itself for myself and for the rest of the guys on the team, I think. Well, I really like the freshman. Um, I guess the best way to describe, describe them is they're like construction workers. They, they put their uh, construction hat on every day. They come to work and they don't say anything. And uh, it's kind of a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Um, they're hard-nosed, tough kids, and uh, they're all going to play. And uh, that's a good thing for us. Well, we have a good situation here now. When we started, we, it was okay. You know, it was good enough to win with. And now we have, we have good facilities. We've got a great players' lounge. Uh, we have a good equipment deal, thanks to LeBron. Special thanks to him. Uh, don't want to take that for granted, for sure. Uh, we have a nice campus. We have a nice school, and we care about winning. So we're, we're able to get good players. And we work hard at it now. We're, we're, listen, this is a fine line. If you don't get good players, this is about the players you're not going to win. So we continue to try to get good players that care about winning. And the last seven guys with this class coming in are all high school guys. So we believe in the high school route for the most part. Now, Brian was a good transfer. Uh, but we've never taken a junior college kid. Now, that's not to say we won't, but we get them for four years this way, and they get better, as Steve said. I don't know if his announcing gets any better, but the, <laughs> the players get a little bit better. Actually, we're very fortunate to have the guys we have announcing. So uh, we feel good about our recruiting, we, and we, we better because that's what it's all about.